Hey there guys and fellow RC Nation enthusiasts. Uh, I had a question on our iX14 Ask the Experts on uh, how to transfer from an NX transmitter to your new iX. So if you're somebody like Khan who is uh, who asked this question, he would like to see uh, how to move model files from an NX10 to an iX14, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. Uh, there's a couple of ways to do it, but one way I would recommend doing it is using an SD card. I think that'd probably be the easiest way to get there. You could use an SB, uh, USB cable and transfer it between computers and things like that. Uh, let, let's see if I have an SD card that's small enough for it to read on here. So I'm dragging an SD card and I'm gonna plug it into my NX10. Now let's just go ahead and move the 14 to the side. So I got my NX10 SE here, which I love. This is an awesome radio. I do think the gimbals are just a little bit better. I love the aluminum gimbals, so there is a perk there, but we're talking about mono file transferring. So I put in an SD card, go to system setup, go to transfer SD card. What you're gonna wanna do is go to model import, change select option to, I would just say export all models. Uh, and we need to select the SD card. So we're using the external SD card, so make sure you're on that. This symbol here, the one, and then uh, the um, slash there, just means you're on the root directory. Uh, it's pretty simple, the root directory would be um, just where no folders are at. It's as soon as you access the card, all right, let's do export all models and hit export. And it's going to save all my models from my NX10 onto that SD card. It might take a minute, and that's okay. And it's going to go through each of the model files. One cool thing is it actually, I believe it's loading up each one as it transfers it, and I have different color tab, uh, pellet, color palettes rather, uh, on each one. So that's why you're seeing it change like that. All right, so they're all on there. Just go back to the main screen. I'm gonna turn my radio off. I'm gonna take the SD card out of the bottom of my transmitter. And I'm gonna put it into the slot on the back of the iX14. Looks like the contacts go down, seems right. And we should be able to just go to our model menu not the quick selects, but just tap and hit proceed. Go tap there. We're going to go to import models. It's going to bring up this file system here. And we should be able to find the SD card here. Yep, SD card there. And there's all my model files. So let's let's import. Oh, let's do the big beaver. I don't think I've got my big beaver on here. And you'll see that that's an NSPM file. And it just imported it there. And there's my big beaver. Select it. Hopefully you guys are having an easy time seeing that. Sorry if not. Go back. See if my trims, yep, my trims were saved. My timer, yeah, that was at five minutes. Uh, let's see if my reversing and all that's good. I'm sure it is. Yep, 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 yep. What about my sub trims? Yep, that's, well, I don't think I actually ever changed those. Well, that's good. Uh, the, the big beaver I'm talking about is the FMS, uh, I think it's the two meter beaver, which is a really great plane. If you guys are looking for a good float plane, literally my favorite float plane. And there you have it. That's how you take your NX model files to your iX transmitter. And that's just one of many ways. My preferred way to transfer models and kind of store models is actually to use Google Drive. Um, so if you go to Google Drive, you can create a folder. What I do is I create a backup folder and I just export my models to there. If I connect my NX radio to my computer, you can drag and drop them onto this model uh, backup fo folder that you might have, stuff like that. So yeah, I've got like my model backup here. So that's my folder. That's where all my stuff goes. 
and yeah you know that's that's just how I do it and then you can select those files and download them to your radio and import them using the same import function that we just looked at so really cool stuff thanks for watching this video hopefully Han that answered your question or anybody else and you know give you a little bit of a you know uncut first look at the iX14 cool thanks guys and talk to you later